For over 70 years, citizens of Clay County gathered for community events at the Greek Revival Courthouse, constructed between 1857 and 1859. After a fire in the original one-story courthouse in 1857, it was decided that a more secure building was needed. The two-story building, costing $41,000, was a unique cloverleaf structure topped with a dome designed by architect Peter McDuff. An iron fence surrounded the grounds to keep livestock from wandering inside. The main entrance was impressive with wide ascending steps and a second story veranda. Four large clocks were erected on each side of the tower supporting the dome. A bell mounted in the dome summons the public to meetings. A statue of justice was mounted on top of the dome. This statue is now on display in the current administrative building on the Liberty Square. The courthouse was occupied by county officials and some rooms were rented out to lawyers and title companies. A jail was located in the basement. No one was ever successful in escaping through its brick walls. The building was originally supplemented by a brick privy on the north side of the building in 1869. A ladies' restroom was added in the mid-1920s. In addition to court activities, the courthouse was used for church services and public events. An annual slave auction was conducted on the northeast corner in January each year until emancipation. Criminals condemned to death were hung on a scaffold built on the courthouse grounds. Many community meetings were held at the courthouse at the beginning of the Civil War to discuss whether or not our residents would support the Union or secede. Local men protected the courthouse in the following years, and it did not meet the fate of over 20 other courthouses which were burned to the ground during the Civil War. Following the war, the American flag was not displayed at our courthouse until members of the Daughters of the American Revolution were joined by members of the United Confederate Veterans in calling for its display on Veterans Day in November 1912, the first time in 50 years. In 1834, the county commission felt the building was no longer sufficient for its needs and it was demolished. The current Art Deco building was erected in its place.